a good segue to Mr. Scott, because as I was hearing Santa Cruz talk about some of those economic numbers, um, I think we know that part of the difficulty was during the uh, recession, uh, the minorities were inordinately hit with foreclosures and other things because of what was going on in the financial industry. Uh, do you want to comment on either on that or what you see as some rules that would be helpful to the minority community in terms of business as an entrepreneur yourself? I really want to ask what it's like working for what it was like working for Cong Congresswoman Sewell, but I'll leave that for later. So go ahead. Uh, sure. Uh, I think that there are regulations that that um, that help us, you know, that work along with business owners um, that are not stifling or that are, that are holding businesses back in any kind of way, but that help maybe with clean food. Uh, since I hear you a lot of times deal with farmers, uh, and a lot of times we deal with putting uh, seeds in the ground that has nourishment towards coming into our bodies um, and having regulations in place that require and having those nutrients in place, they help with our life as a whole. Because uh, if we... Um, don't have things in place, we won't actually be here today. And, um, and I look at, too, within looking in this room, um, we have wood that's in here, uh, that this building, this table, and everything's made out of wood. And without regulation, would we have clean um, wood in here or would it be contaminated? Uh, would we, uh, the carpet that we walk on, would the carpet be the quality that it is or would it just tear up as soon as it's put down? So I think that those regulations, when working along with business owners, mm -hmm. can be something that's beneficial to everybody. Thank 